Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. I was one of the lucky people who had access to the private preview of the new deal manager workspace in Dynamics 365 sales. But now this feature has started rolling out through all regions. And if you want to know when this feature is available in your region, I will touch on that in a little bit as well. So what is this new feature that is part of 2021 release wave one? Well, I almost want to say that it's kind of like a dashboard on steroids. A lot of people were asking me, hey, is this a new app or something that's part of Dynamics 365 sales? So that's really not what it is. It is part of the sales hub and obviously you can configure it to be accessible in other spots in Dynamics 365 as well. So let's just go ahead and dive in and I'll show you how you can add some of those components to your existing apps and I'll also show you exactly what the deal manager workspace is. Enjoy. So the version that the deal manager workspace is a part of is the 9.0.21072.1001. So it's really the 21072 that you're looking for. And if you want to see when this is going to be available in your region, you want to go to that URL that you see up here, docs.microsoft.com slash e and dash us dynamics 365 released versions slash dynamics 365 sales and i will drop that link uh, in the in as part of the video as well as a description so that you can kind of take a look at that so you should see if you navigate to app settings here in the sales hub then you should see here the deal manager preview i just renamed this to deal manager settings preview where as you can see you can enable this by clicking on get started and then if you navigate to sales you will see deal manager preview right over here so if you want to enable this in the sales hub if it's not there or if you want to put this in a different app you can do that you're i'm just going to go here to my sales hub app because that's where i want to put it and I click the little three dots here, and then I'm going to click here in open in app designer. And that's going to go ahead and load your app designer for the sales hub. So we want to go to the sitemap. I'm going to click OK here because this is where we want to make some of those changes. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and add a sub area. You're going to just drag this here on the screen you can see here I put it under sales right and then you're gonna go ahead and edit that so you're gonna actually make oops make this a type of URL and then you're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this URL in there and if you go to my article I actually have the full URL displayed in my article which again there's also going to be a link to my article uh, on that description of the video as well so this is where the deal manager preview goes and then if I click on app settings right here's my deal manager settings which is basically the same thing you're going to say this is a URL and you're going to enter this URL here in this URL field and then obviously you can give it a title as well so that's very easy to do right so now let's take a look at enabling that so again i'm going to go here to my app settings i'm going to go here to that area that i just added and i'm going to click on get started and i'm just going to let it run here and then you can see that my preview is now enabled and there's a couple of settings that you have here so you can choose who will be able to use the deal manager by selecting security roles, right? You can say, I'm going to do all security roles, or if you just want to give this to specific security roles, you can do that as well. I'm going to leave this to all security roles. Then you also have the ability to 
customize or as I like to call it configure really the workspace right we can actually add a JavaScript library in here as well now I'm not a developer I don't know a lot about JavaScript but uh, I'm sure that the developers amongst us are going to be very excited about this guy then we have the ability to manage the two charts that actually come with the deal manager workspace you can see here uh, there's some properties here right if i click on this let's go to the bubble chart deal tracker you can change the name of that you can change the axis right the horizontal vertical and you can also change the segment uh, by session and then obviously here you can change the size how the size is measured right in this case obviously we want to have that revenue amount for that but this is kind of what you have the ability to uh, to work with uh, again the sort legends there's only two start to finish and finish to start but you can kind of play around with that and then we're going to have some tool tips so tool tips is really when you hover over the chart you're going to get some information that's being fed back to you through a tooltip, right? So for example, who is the customer, right? The potential customer for that particular opportunity that you're hovering over. What's the status of that pipeline phase, estimated revenue, etc. So you can move this stuff around, right? In the order that you want it to show. And you can also add some fields, right? Let's add actual close date. Well, it doesn't make any sense actually, but what you can do here is you can really kind of add some stuff let's do some budget on here as well and then maybe i want to move that up right so you can you can do that you can see here there's a max of eight of those right limit of eight fields is reached so if you want to add a different field we got to remove one first and then you can just go ahead and save that so for the sales funnel the only thing that we could really update here is just that chart name we can't make any other changes to that and then when you're done with this, all you have to do here is click publish. And then we're just going to give it a couple of seconds here to save and publish the settings. So my publish is done and you can see here, I have a button over here as well, where I can now view that deal manager. So I can click on that and just visit the deal manager, or I can go back here to sales where I have my navigation item that I just added there as well. Now let's take a look at the deal manager itself, right? There's a lot of things that you see on here. So first of all, it's looking at this particular view, right? My open opportunities. So if I want to go ahead and show other, right? All open opportunities, I can do that as well. So you can change that view around. The other thing that you can do here is you can add filters here yourself. If I click on this, right, I can start to add some filters on this, then apply them, add more filters even, right? Like we're used to in the regular views. And then I can apply those or reset those. I also have the ability to either keep this combo list, which is showing me a chart, and then the view below here, or I can just go to a list view as well, right? And that's kind of taking away that chart that we saw in the combo. We also have the ability to edit the metrics and the metrics is what you see up top here right you can see pipeline value number of deals in pipeline etc so if there's additional things that i want to show i can just add a metric start entering the information right what's my metric field name i can go ahead and let's just say budget i can enter a description and i can also put that aggregate function in there as well so let's just go ahead and say some and then we can put some additional information some filtering in here as well right and then whether or not i want to show it if i do then obviously i need to go ahead and check that box so once that's done you can now see here that my total budget that sum of budget of those opportunities is 178k Right? So this is kind of how you can configure or customize or whatever you want to call that, obviously. Now, we also talked a little bit about that screen, screen pop-up or whatever you want to call it, right? That we were able to configure earlier in settings. So if you kind of hover your mouse over one of those bubbles, 
you're going to get those fields, right? I can see who the potential customer is, the status, pipeline phase, etc. So that's kind of how you can take a look at that information. Now you also see below here, you can see all of the opportunities, right? That I have in this particular view. I can go down here, uh, right? I can view all of those. I can also edit the opportunity. If I click on this, this is allowing me to change my topic, right? You can see that in here as well. I can change the customer. I can change the date here, this estimated close date, etc. Now I can also just pop this window out, right? So it's going to sit on top of my deal manager workspace and I can view and edit that record here in this pop-up window. This just brings it to the full opportunity form and I can start adding stuff here as well. So let's just go ahead and close that. The other thing that I can do here, if I click on this, you'll see on the side that now we're getting this little window here that opens up and I can start looking at the opportunity. I can see the key details, right? And I can expand that or collapse that. I can see who is the primary contact. I can view notes and tasks. I can add notes from here as well. I can just go ahead and start entering a note. I can attach a file, right? And I can also add other activities. So like an appointment or an email or maybe even a phone call. So you can see that you have a lot of access and ability to view and edit some of these records. Now, the nice thing that I, what I really liked here as well is if I actually click on a link, right? A related record from the opportunity in here, let's go to Maria. If I click on that, that will now load Maria's information in that side pane. And again, I can go ahead and add notes. I can add tasks. I can review the activity and I can create new activities for her as well. Now we haven't talked a lot yet about right what the view that we see below here, but the nice thing is that I can kind of make this right. I can move this around as well, right? I can go ahead and say I want my estimated revenue uh, maybe right over here, so I can drag this around. I can edit some of my columns, right? I can say I don't want this particular column. Maybe I want a different column, right? And you can see here you have basic columns and you have smart columns. Right. So I can say, OK, I'm going to do a smart column. That is my close time, uh, close date. And now I can just go ahead and edit that. Now, I'm not sure what smart columns exactly do yet. So that's really kind of a we kind of have to, like, look into that a little bit further and kind of play around with this. Um, but that's what that smart column is. And then obviously I can also do a quick find from here and just find some of the opportunities that I'm referring to that I'm looking for, right? Again, all accessible from within this new deal manager workspace. Now, there are a couple of things that are not yet available in the deal manager workspace. So let's take a look at that. So currently related entities are not supported yet in the deal manager workspace. Now you can add a related entity to the filter, right? By using that more filters option, but that condition will then display an error state. So you would want to then create a deal manager view and then add that filter condition with the related entity right over there. Now, the other thing is with uh, charts, the segment list is only limited to two fields, right? You saw that when I was trying to customize that bubble chart that we only have the that, that option to change the segment by uh, option, which really indicates the color of that bubble. And currently this only will support the pipeline phase field and the opportunity grade field. So hopefully that's going to be uh, a lot more fields, right? Once this comes out. And then obviously I already showed it to you, right? That funnel chart cannot be customized. The only thing that I can change there is really the name of the chart. So I can't do anything else with that. And the other thing that I didn't talk about yet is that those smart fields that I just showed you, those are not supported in tooltip. So you can use the regular fields or the basic fields, whatever you want to call them, but you cannot use those smart fields yet. And then lastly, something about personalization. 
any personalization that you do in the deal manager workspace, you cannot save that to a view. So you saw earlier that I changed the metrics and I edited some of the columns and I added, you can add some filters. They cannot be saved to a view, but the changes will stay there until you actually, you know, sign out. So if you want to save some of those changes, what you really want to do, particularly with like, if you're adding columns and stuff, you just want to go ahead and create a view, right? And then change to that view. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another episode again. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day, guys.